You know, when we are doing a rich text editor, like we are working on right now, you will also uh, find that you need to be able to select text, like you know, um, with the circle around um, loop, or if you select the word, then you get these drag handles, and then you drag around, you get a rectangular loop. Yeah. So these are the things users would expect. Unfortunately, there is no built-in method to get these. So you need to reverse engineer what Apple provides. And that's exactly what we did. Or rather, my friend Michael K did. And I get the uh, privilege of having this loop as a class of mine. So let me show you. That's how our loop looks. So touch and hold, you see it comes in really nicely. And the point that you have your finger on is in the center of the loop. Um, you can, can also have a simple rectangular one or use the one with the arrow pointing to your finger. And the cool thing about reverse engineering this um, is actually you can specify your own magnification factor. So like really, really big. Yeah. Okay, let's do the circular one. Really big, 2.5. Or the default one, which is 1.25. And you can see uh, by the means of DT loop, you can quickly and easily add magnification to your own uh, classes. Doesn't have to be uh, a text editor could be an, an image viewer or anything where you would want the user to kind of just look at as a part of something. I think that makes for a really great effect. This is DT loop.